That's that good, because I like to know about the history of the magazine. Can you explain how it got started and everything? For those yeah. Uh, for the most, the, we got started, I think it was in 1997, mm -hmm. and we were primarily a Jacksonville magazine for five years. And then we came to Orlando after the five years, and after that we went statewide. So I work at the uh, Moffitt Cancer Center and have an opportunity to really uh, impact the community in a significant way mm -hmm. uh, through uh, diversity and inclusion efforts, uh, community outreach, uh, just making sure that we provide great cancer care all throughout uh, the state of Florida. Oh, that's amazing because, I mean, I know so many of my family members, friends, everyone knows someone who's been affected by cancer, and it just, it's we got to keep battling, right? And so thank you so much for what you've done. And I guess what positives have you, can you say, have we got in the fight against cancer? Well, one of the things is that we are trying to get more people screened at an uh, earlier rate. Um, we okay. know that uh, prevention is the cure. Uh, so as much as we can get out there, spread the word about uh, getting screened, um, educated about cancer, I think that's where we will win the battle. It's not about the uh, treatment. It's about keeping people from getting cancer. However... If you do get cancer, uh, Moffitt Cancer Center is a great place to come and be uh, to be treated. Uh, I'm being honored for the work that uh, I do around uh, felon disenfranchisement. Uh, led the effort 2018 to restore voting rights to 1.4 million people with previous felony convictions. And since then, uh, we've been working diligently to make sure that, that we expand democracy as much as possible. So what, what positives have you could tell us that like in the fight? Because it's going to be ongoing. It's going to be more years down the ride, like more more voting rights. Well, there's a lot of positives. There, you know, we had over 100,000 returning citizens that were actually able to vote in the past 2020 elections. We have stories of people in their 60s and 70s who voted for the first time oh, in their yes. lives. And then, of course, we've had people who've, you know, one lady, she was given six months to live, and her dying wish was to be able to vote. Unfortunately, she passed away a few days after. Um, Men of Honor, I am the President and CEO of McCoy Federal Credit Union, and it's, been, it's an honor to be even considered uh, to be a Man of Honor with Onyx. Onyx is an excellent uh, magazine, and I read it religiously, um, and I'm excited about being here today. Well, you have to done something for the community, giving back. I mean, I, I know you I guess you don't like to talk about it most yourself, but we, yeah, what have you done? You know? Right. As well as a financier, we um, provide financial services, financial literacy. Um, the credit union is a community-based credit union, so we're very involved with the community. We do a lot of sponsorships, provide a lot of educational sessions to school students, uh, and then we are uh, a low-cost financial service provider. Uh, which is always important to. Uh, I, I'm engaged in the community at all different levels, economic development, uh, social services, and social justice, but uh, I'm just honored. I'm just honored. There's two words that come to mind, and that's thank you. Well, thank you for all your work, but I mean, I mean, what more work do you have to do? What struggles are, we, are people facing in this? I just moved here from uh, California, so I'd like to know Orlando, you know? Well, I think uh, the majority of it is just the engagement, building relationships. That matters a lot. And if you develop those relationships, I think you see the reciprocal value on both ends, economically as well as in the quality of services. So it's all about relationship building. Um, one of Onyx Magazine's Men of Honor. So I guess they've chosen a few people that have um, done well in the community, done, done, done well done? for themselves. Yeah. Um, I work for Bank of America. Um, I'm one of the Better Money Habits champions for Bank of America. So we put a focus on financial literacy. Um, we do a lot around the community, just volunteers throughout the organization to offer that. We think it's something that's important to most people, um, and I think we do a good job of um, delivering some information What's to people amazing, that need it. amazing, because, like, I mean, the only education I, I can remember was learning how to write a check, I think, in third grade, but nothing about, like, all of a sudden I'm out of college, I'm like, how do I pay my taxes? How do I balance everything? It's very true, and that's the focus. There's just not enough of that as coming up, and I'm, I'm one of them. I kind of learned on the job, I, you could say, so I think it's um, important for us to give back a little bit and, and take some of the knowledge that we have and, and give it to as many people as we can. I currently serve as the city manager of Sanford, Florida, and I'm honored to represent the city of Sanford. Where is Sanford? I, I, we were just talking off camera. I just moved here, you know. So. Sanford is a uh, so half hour north of Orlando. As a matter of fact, Orlando was part of the greater Sanford area. Oh, really? <laughs> Very cool. So what positive things have you done in the community over the years? 
we've really revitalized the city. We have bring a lot of new development, and we're making it a destination place for people from Orlando to come and enjoy our downtown area. Okay, well, I'm going to come visit. What can I expect when I go visit downtown? Yeah. Restaurants, uh, bars, all kind of art entertainment, art galleries. We have a really good collection of entertainment. Uh, my current role is the executive dean for Valencia's downtown campus, and so I'm being honored for my educational and community input in the surrounding areas. Okay, well, let's talk about some of the positives you've done in the surrounding areas in the community. Yeah, yeah so very honored to be in a position. So we have a joint campus between ourselves, Valencia College, and UCF Co and University of Central Florida. And what we do is we now have an educational ecosystem. So we have the ability to take the residents of Paramore and the larger surrounding area. They can actually go from uh, all the way from preschool because we have the OCPS A school there to uh, Jones High School if they chose, if they are zoned for that, of course, and then come over to Valencia for the first two years and continue seamlessly with UCF all the way to graduate school to PhD if they so choose. A man amongst giants today, a lot of phenomenal folks. Um, I like to think I'm being honored for my uh, dedication to the community and the state of Florida through uh, my work with Orlando Health. Oh, cool. Well, let's talk about what, what you've done in the community. I, I just moved here from California, so I'm getting to lower the community and everything. You know? Uh, partnerships with our local leaders like the Science Center, for example. We just had the opportunity to open up a, a Food Heroes exhibit, Ooh. offering healthy food options to children and families in the area, but also educating them on where they can source and, and recover healthy food. So I like to think that there's amazing care that happens in the hospital and also oh, cool. outside of the hospital. Wh where is the Science Center? i got to check that out bring my kids. Yeah. It's up the road. It's up the road. Uh, so not too far from here in downtown Central Florida, Orlando. All right. Cool. Uh, being an honored man, um, uh, I don't know what I'm being <laughs> honored for. Well, you're you're honoree, so you must have done something positive for the community. Well, we're the largest uh, African American construction management firm in uh, Central Florida, Ooh. and probably in the Southeast. Very cool. So, what have you uh, built over here? I just moved here from California, so I'm going to learn. We built the Hulk and Spider Man rise at, at Universal Studios. Part of the team that built the convention center. Uh, built Jones High School, which is a predominantly black high school in Orlando. Mm -hmm. So we've done a, a lot of things uh, to be a proud of the community. Uh, well, I'm the managing partner for Greenberg Trorg, um, based out of Miami, and uh, several civic involvements. I chair one of the health systems in Miami. I, I chair a couple other organizations as well. Very cool. So what, uh, uh, what fights have you had to go in the community uh, while you're in there? Because, I mean, we're all about celebrating everyone who's made a positive impact in every one of the Sure, sure. I think in particular last year with uh, what happened with George Floyd, uh, there were a number of civic engagements, both with law enforcement, but really with the community helping to heal, and I played a couple of roles in that. Well, I think it's pro to both reach out to both sides, especially in the George Floyd situation. Right? Absolutely, and that was one of the main themes that we outlined, that you just bring in law enforcement, let's bring in the community and see how we can work together, understand each other's perspective, understand each other's pain, and uh, celebrate empathy, but also celebrate solutions. So I'm being honored for a lot of my work in relation to health equity. I'm coming from Orlando Health. So really helping move the needle on diversity, equity, and inclusion, not only internally, but also doing the health equity-based work in the community. So just a commitment overall to health equity. Very cool. So what uh, like struggles have you like, seen over the last couple of years that you've had to like really roll up your sleeves and get going? Yeah? Huh, I think, you know, over the past few years, I think for some, health equity is a new domain. And so just trying to build that, you know, knowledge base, the awareness, um, to just the general population of what health equity means and how it impacts people's overall health. That's probably been one of the biggest uphill battles, but I think with time and consistency, um, you know, everyone will kind of have a greater appreciation for health access, you know, for all, you know. Uh, I'm a, a local attorney here who's been very involved in the community in terms of community events and uh, making sure that the uh, community stays safe. Well, I just moved here from California. Is there any upcoming community events I should be aware of that I can help out, get the word out? You know? uh, well, there are a number of events that are coming up. I don't, I don't have the calendar <laughs> committed to memory. I don't, I don't really keep well, my own calendar. What have you done in the past uh, you, that you've helped in the community? Uh, you know, I, I've done food drives in the community. But, uh, I, annually, I have a uh, toy giveaway um, for uh, kids in the neighborhood that I grew up in at the park that I grew up playing in. Oh, wow. That's amazing. Yeah. Very cool. So that's, I take that's around Christmas, I assume? Right, right, right. I usually have a Christmas party before that. I invite all of my friends to come, and I'll pay for a party. And um, uh, the only price of admission is to bring an unwrapped toy. And then I take those toys and 
provided to the kids back in the neighborhood? Yeah, so uh, I am the uh, vice president of uh, distribution for Warehouser National Accounts, mm -hmm. and uh, I represent um, our distribution business across the country. And I do a lot of charity work with, um, with Big Brothers Big Sisters. I also do a lot of uh, charity work with mentoring youth. I'm an Alpha Phi Alpha uh, Fraternity Incorporated uh, member, and uh, also a member of the Jacksonville 100 Black Men of Jacksonville. Very cool. Now, growing up, or like, or did you work for like Big Brother Big Sister? You know, um, I didn't work for them, but I did participate through high school and other things. Um, I'm from Orlando, so it's happy to be back at home. I'm living in Jacksonville now. Uh, for my work with Bethune Cookman University, myself along with the board of Bethune Cookman. Uh, did uh, a number of, of things uh, to basically save the institution uh, from getting additional money from the state of Florida to restructuring uh, some debt that kept the doors open. Oh, wow. Is there any more, like, struggles, uphill battles you're going to have to face for the institute? Or you guys are good? No, we're good in that way, but we still got more work to do. Work is never done at a university. Absolutely. All right. Well, congratulations on being on here tonight and keep up the amazing work. Take care now.